Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Nasus in the mid lane because he has absurd scaling and survivability. This is super important guys. Against ranged matchups, absolutely make sure you take second win instead of bone plating. Against melee all in matchups like Irelia Yasuo, you want bone plating instead of second win. Against range, take second win, very important. D shield plus fleet plus Nasus self healing on passive plus second win makes it pretty much impossible for ranged matchups to kill you if you know how to position. Against the melee matchup, the bone plating is more worth it. We'll let him push us in early on. Nasus has a horrible level 1. But his level 3 is okay and his level 6 is amazing. So don't do anything too crazy level 1. It's not worth it. As long as we're still getting XP, then I'm happy. So here, for example, we can auto attack Q reset. Drag this off to the side. And try to get as much of this as possible. Like we're doing here gotten three out of three so far his biggest mistake was pushing as hard as he did early he didn't go to ward really off of it you should have tried to get ward on raptors if we miss a minion or two it's fine we're still getting xp because we're in range auto attack q resets level two don't be in a rush to level up an ability if you get a gank from your jungle you need wither but if you don't get a gank then you want e so you can last hit it's a big circle so you can use the edge of it to last hit so you don't dump the wave because the last thing we want to do is to hard push the wave. It's literally the last thing. So right now, there's no rush to level anything up. We're not going to just randomly wither him right now or toss E to push wave. I'll attack Q reset. He's mashing on my minion, so I need to reverse mash a little bit so he doesn't crash his tsunami. So he's mashing again, so I'm going to hit. Got to trade hit, hits for hits on the minion so that they don't crash. Like that. Like, that's not what we wanted. I'll attack Q reset. At this point, we can get all of our abilities, so we'll just do that. Getting the cannons is a lot of extra stacks. It's a big fat 12 instead of a 2 off of a normal minion. Or I guess 3 off of a normal auto attack Q reset. Drop the wither. Not the wither, but the E. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the spirit fire. I'm never going to say that, but I'll say E. Abilities with silly names it should be called Fire Circle. <laughs> All right, so he's kind of roaming off, probably going for Scuttle. I'm okay with that. We're already at 42 stacks, which is amazing. This is a solid matchup for Nasus. Anything mid lane that is melee is a bit of a freebie. Against range champs, you can still make it work as long as you go second win in your secondary runes instead of bone plating. It looks like they're switching. <laughs> That's hilarious because Garen was in a pretty unplayable matchup, I guess. Auto attack Q reset. Auto attack Q reset on the Garen's face. If people are going to trade with you and you can safely do so without them being able to all in you, feel free to hit him with an auto Q reset. That way you don't lose a bunch of HP for free. If you're letting people hit you for free when you can safely like trade and then walk away, then you're a goofball. We had minion advantage. We're on our back line. Plus, we can back up to turret if the trade starts going bad. Nasus Q is strong enough after you have some stacks to where if you auto Q on someone's head, it'll probably be an okay trade as long as you're doing it defensively rather than offensively early on. Now, once you're six, you can look for the all in, but obviously, we're not six. Auto attack Q, waited for him to use his speed up, then we'll wither. Does he not have his Q? Why did. Does Lisa not have Q there? I'm so confused. We'll drop E on the whole wave to try to push it here. I want him to stay and help. I'm out of mana. I don't even have mana to land Qs here, really. Teleport's a very good defensive option in the same way Fleet, D Shield, Nasus Passive, and Second Wind Bone Plating are. If you're in a challenging matchup, or if you run out of HP, mana... Whatever the case is, it helps you to stay alive and stay in lane as much as possible to get XP and stacks. First item back, typically you're going to look for Sheen. I don't want to get uh, tier. That feels like a mistake. We'll delay boots for as long as possible. I'm not even going to buy control ward. Divine Sunder is a nasty power spike for Nasus. The Sheen proc plus the empowered Sheen on Divine Sunder is so freaking good. What we're going to do is chill on this for now. Every time you level up your Q, it goes on a much lower cooldown by about a whole second to where 
even though ability haste is good on Nasus, it's not like rushing Sheen hurts you because Sheen doesn't have any ability haste on it, but it's worth because it helps your trade so much. It helps your self healing a lot too because you're doing way more damage on your autos and your Qs. Your self healing is life still, not Omni Vamp. So it only heals you on your autos and auto based on hit abilities such as Nasus Q. Lots and lots of healing. Lethal Tempo and Conquer are both also viable. But against a ranged matchup, you're pretty much always going to go fleet. Bop him with a Q there. Drop an E on his head. Auto attack Q. Leasing can land his. He's dead here. That was really solid for us. I don't even need a reset. I can heal off these in permafreeze. They ran a really bad comp to play into me. The only person who's going to give us issues is the John and Jinx, but their three melee are going to get absolutely annihilated. Got to thin these out a bit. Auto Q reset. Pop potion as well. I don't want to back here. I have enough mana to stay. I can heal back up with my fleet and whatnot. I went in for that raw auto because my fleet was up. Wanted to be able to access that healing. My R is ready to use, so we can fight Garen as long as he's not 6 here. Auto Q reset. He's not quite 6. I'm going to wait for him to use his Q and then I'll fight it. Nice. So his Q's on a cooldown. So is his E. Standing pretty far back, though. I can't really get to him. I'll play it safe and farm up. We have this in a freeze because he has more than three minions than me. Ideally, you want them to have four more range creeps is the safest way to play it. This Q's on a cooldown. We can look for the fight. Auto attack Q. Ghost for this, drop the E. Auto attack Q. Hit him with the Q. And that's why Sheen's so good. All that extra damage. Every time we use an ability then... Or even, whenever you use an ability, your next auto attack is giga empowered. Or... If that ability applies on hit effects such as Ezreal Q or Nasus Q, our Q itself applies that extra damage. We'll go ahead and reset and let this push into us. He has more minions. I think he still does even after we kind of goofed the wave there a bit. Push for call fields, tier one boots. Tier two boots isn't typically worth rushing on Nasus, even though Lucidities give a lot of ability haste, because once again, per level in your Q, it gets on a low enough cooldown to functionally use it on every single minion if the enemy is letting you and if you rush tier two boots you're heavily delaying divine sunder or worse yet your sheen initial purchased and then divine sunder by delaying that that's hurting your carry potential dramatically back to freeze on nasus you max w second because it was buffed a while back making it a crazy slow auto attack q reset He's full stacked Conquer right now, so he can actually kind of kill us. I lost a lot of HP, need to heal back a bit. Fleet isn't as good as Conquer for all in fights to the death. He's going to push me off that minion. We get the fleet speed up, very nice. Look at our health, we're getting back in there. I want to take off his passive. He's not willing to trade there. That's fine. His passive's still on a cooldown. He's getting a bit of D-shield healing. We can heal up faster than he can through our life still on passive. It gets higher per level for our, our champion level on Nasus. Boom. Should be in a soft freeze. He's going to step forward to try to break it. We're at 171 farm. You'll notice early on on Nasus, it's hard to get any stacks because his pre-6 is so weak. And on top of that, your Q cooldown is super long. So in your first five levels, champion levels, you're not really getting that much farm. But at this point, we have four points in our Q. It's up on almost every minion. Here, we have so many that his minions are dying so fast. It's not up, but in a normal wave situation, it would be up. Very nice. Boom. Hit him with the Q. Boom, get him with the Q. Get him with the Q. <laughs> He's missing all of his health. 
He can't even step up now. Or he's dead. Get him with the Q. Down he goes. He's being greedy. I got to speed up off of the minion through the fleet. Walk forward, hit him. The speed up on fleet helps a lot, particularly against range matchups. Because when you go up for a minion, they want to hit you with several autos and an ability. But with fleet, they can usually only land one auto or one ability and not necessarily both. Because it's 20% um, movement speed for one second. So you can boop and then you zoom off. Make, typically making them miss a skill shot or at least struggling to land multiple. Like I said, against melee matchups, you can get away with lethal tempo or conquer. They're both solid. In general, though, first range, you need to go fleet. And even against melee, it's hard to go wrong with fleet. It's not like it's bad, necessarily. I want to hit him in the head with my Q. Taking a turret shot, not a big deal. I can heal it back. 566. All you need is two autos on a melee minion, and then a Q, and it's a goner. I'll TP back here. There's no reason for me to stay. I'm sitting on a full Divine Sunder. It's a good time to reset. You don't typically shove and roam on Nasus because when you're shoved, you die to ganks. Nasus is immobile. He doesn't have a single speed up or dash in his kit, which is why Ghost is so nice. It's also why going for Ghost and Flash is high win rate on him. In fact, Ghost Flash together is a higher win rate than Ghost and TP because Ghost Flash lets you get on the back line no matter what if your Ghost and Flash are up. It's a lot of mobility. We missed the minion to hit him with a Q. It's fine, though. Once you establish lane dominance, they can't really push you off of minions anyways. Triple ping it out. Hopefully he listens to my pings, but he's kind of just dead with Garen roaming there. Unless he can uh, keep moving there. I let him know exactly what was happening, so it's kind of on him if he dies there. Garen used Ignite. Garen's going to lose so much turret for that. We could pop R to take more turret. It's not worth, though. We can take enough as is. I don't want to waste R. R puts your Q on a 50% reduced cooldown. We're 13 minutes into the game, and every Q is chunking hard. Every You see how it says 4 right there? Because we're breaking all the plates. Every time you break a plate, it gets more armor and magic resist temporarily, making it harder to take the turret. We're still able to take it really fast. I'll unmute them. Right, nearly 300 Q farm. About 14 minutes in. We don't have to go on for an auto Q reset on champions necessarily anymore because our Q on its own is doing so much damage. Plus Q increases your auto range to where it makes it easier to trade. So look, and now look. So going in for a rock Q at this point, since we have so many stacks, is kind of better than trying to auto them and then Q. He can't fight me at all. He'll get... Yeah, he's, he's dead. He didn't see me because I was hiding behind the wall. Drop the E on him to shred his armor. Auto attack, Q reset. Auto attack, Q reset. Auto Q. And that was a close fight, guys. That's why Nasus is a gross champion. As long as you're not behind, you have R and Ghost. They can't get away from you and then they die. I think I missed Cannon there. They didn't say anything. I killed 1v2 and I'm full health. They have nothing to say. That's kind of funny. The only person alive is Jinx and Rek'Sai, so I should be relatively safe. I have enough mana to still use my Q. Look at, look at that healing, dude. We took a turret shot and Rek'Sai chunk. Three kill Rek'Sai, nothing. Fleet speed up and uh, another Q on her. She's almost dead. One more Q and she's a goner. Presence of mind is definitely viable on Nasus. I think that was more of an AP Nasus type of play style where, oh, you're poking them with the E. Dealing damage to enemy champs makes presence of mind give you back more mana. Makes sense. But we don't really want to do that with normal Nasus is the thing. It's a play to still cap kind of game. Second item rush. I'd say Frozen Heart. They're super auto attack based on their team with the Jinx, Yasuo, Rek'Sai, even Garen somewhat because the more attack speed he has, the more damage his spin does. 
Indeed. Jinx is the main issue. She's giga, giga, giga fed. We do have the solution of MFR outranging her. It's still not going to be easy to deal with. I got to get over to that fight. Dragon's already gone. I don't know why we're necessarily even fighting over there anymore. We'll do a single ping. We're not going to put it on our teammates. We don't want them to mute us. We'll put it on the enemies. Woo, look at that. I can't get to them right now. I would lose that fight. Jinx has more gold spent than me. Even if I'm two levels up, she's 2,000 gold more spent with a Janna and lethal tempo. It's like, bro, there's no way. We can't fight this. I will put a wither on her head and let her chew on that while she watches me farm these minions. No, don't do it. She's double item. I'm only one item. <laughs> I kind of need a lane to split on. Maybe I should go bot here. Because now MF's going mid, even though her bot turret's still up. Makes sense, right? Generally, bot lane isn't supposed to rotate mid until they lose their turret. But she's kind of just here anyways. I can't save Nico. There's three bots. There's nothing I can do there. John is hard for Nasus to handle. She has a slow, a knock, a knock back, and speed up for her teammates when they're moving near her. Hey, Jinx. You want to be outplayed here, my dude? That was a close fight. <laughs> we got her flash for doing pretty much nothing. I'm going to block her rocket. She got scared there. I fleeted into her with uh with my auto attack was started moving at her she got nervous back to sharing cs with mf that's no fun i don't know why she doesn't just go bot because there's somebody over there and i can handle jana jinx on my own for now if i put wither on jinx she can't kill me for five seconds Wither's only on an eight second cooldown so that's only a three second window she has to actually do real damage to me because that's when my wither's on cooldown and not affecting her so for now, Jinx, Janna can't really kill us. At least not quickly. Man, are they really chasing here? Janna wants to die, I guess. Jinx does have red buff. She just cleansed my... Uh, she just cleansed the wither there. Otherwise, she was dead because I was on a ghost and it was able to move through Janna. Plus, I could kill Janna in three Qs. Q's on a 2.5 right now. If I'm on R, that means Q is on a 1.25. 1.256 second cooldown. Is that, is that what that is? Something like that. 2.5. Yeah, I guess just a 2.52. Wait, 1.52. What am I saying? Okay, my Q is on a 2.54. So yeah, when I'm on my R, that means it's on a 1. Point... What? Yeah, maybe I was right. 1.256. I don't know. Basically, my Q is a second in at a second and a quarter cooldown when I'm on my R. That's what I'm trying to say. Basically just a one second cooldown. When on R. Not on R, it's a two and a half. Not bad. I think Jinx is starting to feel the pressure a bit. She's not even coming back mid because she couldn't kill me. Vote no early in the surrender vote. People are less likely to vote yes. The fact that anyone would vote to surrender when you have a Nasus on your team is absolutely beyond me. We're, we're, we're really scared they're going to outscale us when we got Nasus. I could last hit Q all these, but my teammates are about to lose bot side of the map. We want to kill the ranged ones first in this situation because they're the squishiest and my minions will kill them faster. So we can get off more Qs. Uh, actually, I'll just take this. MF can clear that with her R. I still have enough mana to use Qs. They only cost 20. R costs 100. So I don't have enough to really R and Q here. I'm putting pressure on them to reset, though. They can't out-base race a Nasus. Good luck with that. 
80 carry crits and 80 carry on hit items like Vork don't affect turrets, so. Is there a blue buff or something for me to take here? Wither costs 80? That budgeon blows that it costs that much. I gotta reset. I'm out of mana sitting on a stupid amount of gold. I'm gonna have to build mobility items this game, I can tell, after Frozen Heart, which is normally what you'd wanna do anyways, but just saying. I, in a perfect world, they'd be full melee and you can just stand there with tank items on. Things like Thornmel and Gargoyle. In this case, I have to get Dead Man's. Garen's gonna get it. Oh, what's what's up? What's up, Yas? You're not worth it. I can get a plus 12 off the cannon or a plus 12 off you. His teammates could have been backing him up there as well. Hey, friend. Hey, Yas, you wanna die? You're withered, bruh! You're withered, my dude! I'm on ghost extensions. We had ghost on when when he was when we killed him. Oh, okay, you guys are gonna run that way. You're withered, brah. I don't think you have cleanse. Plus twelve. Jana's like right there. She's got nowhere to go. She flashed. She's this way. She literally went this way. Oh, she got away. <laughs> Insane. That champ's fast. Hit it with the Q. I'll go bot side. They are getting close to drag soul. They need four more minutes. If I can apply enough pressure, I also have war TP. So I could set up a split, have a war TP, and potentially end the game if I can get enough turrets here. Go ahead and shove this in with an E. I need this pushed now. My teammates are mid. Notice how I'm not pinging my teammates directly, so I'm less likely to annoy them. I'm just pinging where the enemies are likely to be based on their positioning. Oh, you guys want to fight? Oh, okay. Hey, Jonna. I almost killed Rek'Sai as well. Jinx is doing a lot of damage. I should have tried to focus her a little bit better. I'm not sure if she cleansed or if I just played that that badly. There was a few times where Jonna was close to me where I should have hit her with a Q because the fact of the matter is my Q is a very short cooldown. It's, it's essentially one second when I'm on my R, so that was my bad. I also should have gotten a word down in Bush so I could TP back. I guess the wave's here. I was getting... Giga slow, dude. I just can't move. I still think Plate is worth over Mercs because Jana has double displacement. So does Rek'Sai. And Tenacity doesn't interact with displacements, knockoffs, knockbacks, etc. So I think Plate is still good. I would need to go Plate or Swifties because they have several slows. I'm already on Plate, so I'll hold it for now. I'll go ahead and press in their Gargoyle. I should be able to kill them next time with the Dead Man's Frozen Heart. I'll be moving pretty quick. The Jinx is so big though, bro. She got my shot down. I need to shove this with my abilities. Nasus Wave Clear is only so good, but his turret taking potential is insane. I hope they go for Baron. Oh, my teammate tries to quit on me. They gave it their best effort. Come on, baby. Get on that turret. Who's gonna reset? Who will stand against me? I have R and Ghost. MF has her R, so hopefully she can clear those minions. My teammates all might die here. I gotta defend my minion. MF dies. Jinx might be able to end, they still have minions. 
Yeah, you guys aren't getting the Pantos, sorry. Oh, that was a really close fight, Rek'Sai. It would have been closer if you had Janna there with you. I think that's it, though, bro. I think that's actually just it. I can't reset and fight him 1v4 anyways. So I'll say GG's. Oh, it was fun. Good times. Let's look at damage dealt damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the second most in the game. Jinx had a clear lead on that department. With that being said, I think we still win there with how everything played out. If MF uses her R to kill the minions because they didn't have supers yet. They'd broken their inhib. They were going to have to wait another 30, 40 seconds for supers to actually get there. So if MF would have literally just R the minions, at the very least, they couldn't end and they'd have to reset to stop me from ending because I could have thrashed their base. I had their stuff down, but still a pretty fun game. NASA mids, pretty much always a good time, win or lose. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.